Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to log errors in Python. So how, how, if you're using Python, how would you log errors? So we're gonna create an actual script for this. So um, yeah, let's just clear what we were working on before. Now um, there's an actual logging, um, there, there's a logging module built into Python. So it makes it pretty easy. Um, so let's just work on our test script here. So um, we have one script in here already. Let's just use that same script, test1.py. Um, wipe out everything that was in there. And you can you, you can basically import logging like this. Um, I'd actually like to put that right at the top. And uh, then we will, we're gonna, we're gonna give you a few quick examples here of how you can log at different logging levels. So you can say, let's just paste this in here. Now you, you basically call logging and you call these different functions and you pass your, your log message here. So debugging info, informational inf message, uh, you know, something isn't right if there's a warning, an error or something critical. So, you know, there are different, different levels. So critical is something super bad, like the whole system's down. Error, um, you know, application is broken or something, something very bad. Um, a warning is just something might not be right, something you're getting warned about. You know, info, it's just informational messages and debugging is just, is just if you wanna be extra verbose. So that's kind of the purposes you might use those for. Now, um, let's save this and just, uh, let, let's, let's uh, run our script right here. So syntax error. So we did something wrong with our syntax and that's, that's why the syntax highlighting is looking so terrible here. So we need to uh, escape this character. All right, let's try escaping this character. There we go, syntax highlighting looks nice now. Um, let's just uh, run this script again and there we go. So you'll, you'll notice um, even though these aren't the actual strings that I wrote, it is, uh, it's, it's using logging. So it, it basically prints it out you know, it prints out the, the logging level, or whether it's warning error or critical. And apparently, um, apparently, the, the Python interpreter by default won't give you info or debugging, or debugging. So that that's kind of interesting to know. Um, so let, let's see. Ne next thing we have here is uh, base config logging level equals debug. So let, let, let's see how we we might um, change our logging level, right? So Let's just add this extra line up here. Um, basic, you know, we're setting for, for logging. We're setting some a bit, some basic config settings, and we're setting the logging level to a level of debug, right? Okay, so um, let's save this script and let's try running our script again, real quick. So there we go. And now you'll notice instead of only outputting three lines, we're outputting. All, all, all five lines. So by setting logging level to debug, we get it includes everything. So that's the highest level. So setting it even higher includes all the levels below it. So the higher you set it, anything that's below the current level it's set to will also be picked up. So info is below debug. So now info is included and also debug and you know all the other stuff we had before like warning, error, and critical. So apparently by default, it was set to warning. Now um, we, we can set some other things like we could set a file name. Let, let, let's, let's try setting this setting. Okay, so um, let's, uh, let, let's just uh, delete this line just to make things simple. Paste some new settings right here. Uh, we're, we're gonna write out the file. Now let's try running our script again. No output at all. Well, um, that's not completely true. Let's just check. Now notice in our directory, instead of just having a script, we also have my custom application.log. So we specified a log. Let, let's just see what's inside this log. So cat my custom log. There we go. All the default stuff from warning to critical, no info or debug. So basically if we specify, we can specify a file name where all logging is supposed to go and the file mode, which we need. Um, Any time we call logging, that stuff will be logged to that file, you know, for the current logging level, right? So that's that's actually pretty useful. Um, <clears throat> now we can also set some format log. Let's just try 
changing the format, right? Um, and I'm, I'm gonna remove this line just to make it easy and simple, just to not overly complicate things for demonstration purposes. So let's write that out. And now let's, uh, now let's clear our screen a bit and let's run our script. So there, there we go. Now we, we see that we have a, a totally different um, or somewhat different format. See, we're, we're taking the format, it includes the process here, the level name and the message, right? So we have uh, the, the process ID, the level and the message. Um, and if you see above, we were, you know, previously we just had the, the de actually we had the debug level um, root, which I'm, I'm not sure why it was putting root in there. We're not running this as root for sure. And you know, your actual debug info. All right, so, and we, you know, it was separated by colons, right? So here we're separating it by dashes and we're just getting the message and you know, the log level and the, the, the I guess I guess that's the process ID, right? So um, that's uh, that, that's how you can change the format of, the, of your logs. So that, that's actually pretty useful. If this is, if you wanna get your, your logging set up right for your Python application, that's, that's something that's really helpful to know. And you can make things more elaborate if you like. So for example, you, you might put in something like this. Uh, let's just remove this line and let's put in another line here. So, all right, here we can say, you can set logging to debug, set it to log to a file. Um, you know, you have to set the file mode to write. And here we're changing the format just like we did before. So we're basically combining all of the things that we did, all of the settings that we had before all into one thing. Now we're gonna write this out to save these changes. And now let's, uh, well, before we do anything, let's remove my custom log. There we go, we only have our script in this directory. Now let's run our script. Just ran our script, no output to the screen, nothing to STD out. But if we look in the directory, our log was regenerated. So let's see what's in our log. Cat my custom log. There we go, all the information that we expected before. But this time, we also have debug and info. So we have debug, inf everything from critical through debug being written to a log and being written in a, in a customized format. So that, that's really nice and useful. Um, and I believe I, I put like a full example down here, which I already have in my script right now. But um, yeah, this is basically the exact same thing that I just have on the screen right now. So that's basically it. That's everything we wanted to cover in terms of logging. You know, if you found this useful, you might want to hit that thumbs up button. But also, you know, if you know something I don't know, um, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you, if you have any comments, questions, criticisms, just let me know. Just leave a comment down below. I want to know what you think. I want to know what your opinion is and uh, what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. Um, but also, you might want to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more Python and coding related um, videos coming up and, and a lot of stuff out already. We're also doing, you know, we're, we're, we're doing coding. We're doing, you know, a bunch of different languages. We're doing servers, hardware, software, you know, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, robots, um, all sorts of interesting stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. So definitely hit that subscribe button to uh, make your YouTube feed that much more interesting. But also, you're going to probably want to hit the bell icon so you don't miss a new video. That way, YouTube will actually let you know when we do come out with a new video. So um, that that is a, that's about it for today. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps somebody. But uh, we will see you guys next time.